part two, the main event, the second fight. Blood has been spilled, so let's see if I can rile someone else up. And this is when things get dangerous. <laughs> this is why this is the playing with fire stream. <laughs> we'll just have to, y'all have to deal with this. You'll have to deal with it. Just deal with it. Abigail Williams, vanilla version. Ah, uh, good character, but uh, insofar as waifu, if, it, if she's still a child, she might be possessed by an elder god, you know, so you're going in the meh category. Anastasia, uh, Romanov, um, to be honest, I really do enjoy her. Uh, yeah, we're, we'll see. I, I do like that they gave her a little hobby of uh, photography when you summon her. She picks up photography and starts taking pictures of things. All right. Uh, Anne and Mary, the pirate duo. I really like these two as characters. Uh, vastly underutilized in the game itself. Uh, there's two variants of them. And this is only up to like uh, 20 JP 2019. So this year on the English side. So Alteria made Alter. Alteria, Artil Artoria made altar. Uh, she's solid. It's it's solid. It, it, she's a good waifu. Um, yeah, I have no. I don't have that very. That that is just the no. That's the altar. That's I misspoke. That's just the altar version. This is the maid version. Uh, I like the maid version more. It has a, she has a more interesting personality than this one. Uh, she's just a little just an inverted version of her saber face, which is kind of boring, kind of disappointing. At least made they gave her this like, compulsion to clean, which just makes it weird. Um, Summer Artoria. Ah, uh, she's she's pretty top tier. The, there's a reason she's the mascot for the entire franchise. Uh, who is that? Okita Summer. We'll come back to that one. <sighs> All right, another two more Artoria faces. King of Storms. Ah. Uh, only for Dojin, yeah. The uh, Goddess of the End variant of this character, she's a little bit better. A little better, a little better. That would be Artoria Lily. Ah, uh, meh. Saber, ah, uh, you know, not a fan of the original. Not a fan of the original. She's kind of just boring. I think this is the summer version of... Yes, that is the summer. This is the summer version of the adult Artoria uh, top tier. Uh, her. I cannot remember her name, but I am completely meh on her. I always have been. Uh, this is an Astolfo. Yes, here's another Astolfo. They got their own category. Uh, Estrella. Or Estrella. Yeah, better. Oh, I've never. No. Yeah, better, I guess. Atalanta Alter. Atalanta Alter. What do we think? Um, I like the Alter version more than I like the base version. 
Yeah, she's... Yeah, she's better. The base version... Meh. Alright. Attila the Hun. Yes, this is Attila the Hun. This is also Attila the Hun. This is Attila the Hun when Attila the Hun discovered Christmas. And his heart grew set her heart grew several sizes, and she discovered an alien sword, etc., etc. It's quite possibly a robot or, or, or some kind of thing like that. Oh my god, fate lore is weird. But meh. Meh. Not a fan of the character design at all. Uh, same thing with the BB Sakura face. Yes, not. They, they just don't. They don't speak to me. The characters are kind of boring. You can only do so many gimmicks of ha 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 lol fourth wall jokes for so long. Uh, Benienma, meh. Okay. Boudica. Boudica, Boudica, Boudica. You're going into the meh. Well, yeah. All right, character. You know, you're sympathetic to her. Um, Bardamante. Eh. She's all right. She's all right. Um, they've done a bit with her character and to really help to endear the player to her. So, yeah, I can appreciate the effort. They get an effort for the storytelling. Um, Brunhilder. Brunhilder. Surprisingly... Mm, yeah, it's going to have to be the only category for that. It's not... Uh, Uh, there's some weird there's some weirdness with this character specifically that I'm not it's just the way that they've they've written her into the story has basically written her into a corner which isn't that great all things considered uh Canis uh wait, can I do I'm going to add one more row here, and this is going to be the, I don't know, row. Canis, um, eh, I'm kind of, I don't, I'm not entirely caught up on all the story, all story content, so. She's going there. Uh, same thing with her. I haven't actually got the event. Uh, Carmilla, assassin. Ah, uh, she's all right. Carmilla, writer. This one. Uh, well, I'd almost say top tier. Yeah. I don't remember who that is. You're going the IDK. Uh, Charlotte, you're a meh character. Your entire gimmick revolves around stabbing people. You're kind of meh in my book. Chloe, you are a child. Cersei. Cersei, I do actually enjoy her as a character. Uh, not something... Yeah, no, she's going down there. Cleopatra, nah. Same thing with uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Odu Nobunaga, Avenger. This is the uh, very like dommy mommy version. So yeah, there, there's, there's some interesting things with the character. It's like an idealized version of Oda. So. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate the storytelling effort they're putting into it. Drake. Ah, uh, Drake is probably one of my... On my account, I got her very early, and probably one of the strongest uh, characters I've had for quite a while. That said, she's just kind of there. She doesn't do a whole hell of a lot. And you know, just kind of exists. She's got some funny lines, mostly about drinking, so 
you know. Eh. All right, the Ellie line. This is like freaking Pokemon. I know. Uh, the Ellie line. Ellie Bray. It, it just all the Ellie. The Brave line, yeah, is meh. 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 And there a, there's a, probably some more in there. There's a lot. Ereshkigal. Uh, you're going straight to top tier. It's a Rin face, but the personality sells it. The personality sells it and the interactions that you have with her in the Babylonia chapter are sickeningly sweet. Uh, I know this is a chapter I haven't gotten to. Frankenstein's monster, otherwise known as Fran, also going into the meh. This is uh, Gareth. Yeah, I don't have a strong opinion. Uh, Queen, Mother of Monsters, Gorgon. Yeah, she's solid. Um, is that gray? I think that's gray. But if that's gray, you're going that day. Um, Serenity. Hassan of Poison. She's... She's interesting? And they've done a bit with her character, but she's been in the game for a long time. She doesn't have a whole hell of a lot to do. I guess she's somewhat entertaining with her antics. Like, you know, not entirely bored by stories involving her. Uh, unlike... Unlike Helena who is going straight to the meh category. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Just go. Which uh, brings us on to Ibaraki. She is an Oni character. I really enjoy Ibaraki's interactions. She's a fun, very meme character. Um... Yeah, she's kind of in the... She's kind of up there with Serenity. Has just... This is a... She's got a few good jokes. It's a fun character to interact with and read her dialogue. Um, that is a... That is an interesting face to be making. Is that Shitanai? Is that Tanai? Tonia? I don't... All right, um, yeah, she's all right. There's not a lot going on with her. Ishtar, you know, Ishtar is all right. It's a Rin face. It's a different take on Rin. Uh, plays up the worst of the Rin, like, archetype, but then actually pulls it back enough that you actually care. So, have... Uh, I mean, if I'm going to do that, then I think Circe needs to be up one more higher. Uh, Ishtar Summer. Yeah, she can go up there, too. Not much of a difference. Uh, Jack the Ripper. Meh. Good character. Jaguar. Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to be a Mimi. I'm going to be a Mimi. This is going to be a Mimi. We're going down there. She's going to the Astolfo category. Which brings us on to the John. Joan of Arc and her various forms. So. Uh, let's start with the base version, which is this one. Uh, not a very interesting character. They did a lot with her later on, creating alternative personalities. Uh, and, and summer or special events that really made her more interesting, but this version is just kind of vanilla. Uh, her summer version, though, which is this one, is pretty much amazing. 
if you haven't seen that, this is probably one of the more hilarious characters. Hilarious and psychotic, actually. Yeah, that's the one that's got the, uh, she's got the uh, little sister beam. Literally turning people into, si into younger siblings. And the whole familiar thing, which is just, what the hell. <laughs> Just an enjoyable character to play around with. Alter. Jean Alter. Also, top tier. They take the character, the base character over here, uh, flip it, and they create the Dragon Witch. Which, this is a character that they have put so much time and dedication into. I, I think you'd be hard pressed to find somebody who doesn't like. John Alter, at least in some capacity, just for the sheer amount of work that they put into it. Probably the most fully fleshed out character in the entire game, to be honest. If I had to, yeah. Yeah, no, without a doubt, I think. She's the most well fleshed out, both in terms of content and um, psychological character depth. Like, there's a lot going on with this character, and the writers understand that. Which brings us on to her summer version, which is just as amazing. Which is, yeah, these two, the difference between them is pretty... There's enough of a difference between them that's definitely worth uh, considering them separately. They're pretty much separate entities entirely, so... Yeah, but they're just as good. The character depth is amazing. And then there's... John Alter's... Lily version. Which is just... Meh. It's... She was a freebie. Uh, this is... Uh, Geisha... Ganesha? Can't pronounce the name. Uh, she's just boring. To be perfectly frank. Jinki, um, boring. Kama, top tier, top tier without a doubt. A very interesting story going on with this character. Uh, I kind of hope she's involved, involved a lot more in some of the later stories or gets reused in one of the side universes. Because that's it. She's an interesting beast. Uh, Assassin of, Pir of Paradise, Paradiso. Ah, uh, she's Matt. I can't remember her actual name. Hokusai. Ah, uh, you know, she's good. She's good. She's a fun character. Her sword, Matt. This is her summer form, which it's a little more... It's a good character art for the summer one, so she gets a higher ranking. Uh, who is that? I don't know. I don't... Look, there's only a few... a few more. We're, we'll get through it eventually. <laughs> uh, okay, another Sakura face. King Protea. Uh, no. Not not into that giant thing. Kyohim. Kyohime. Um base version. <sighs> Meh. Summer version, it's a little better. A little bit better. Now once again, like this is like the first summer event, so they they did a little bit of a good amount of character development with her during that, so it definitely helped her. More than just this version, which is just stalker, stalker, stalker. You know, there's a little bit. Uh, it's a joke character at the end of the day. Uh, I can't remember her. Lashikin? Lashikin? I, yeah, she's just not interesting. I apologize to everybody in India because I just butchered her name terribly. A little... This is the Lily Leonardo, I think. Eh. 
not that interesting. Um, okay. So, Marie Antoinette. Both versions. Interesting at first, but then they did absolutely nothing with her. And really haven't done much with her. Shows up in the background occasionally. Has basically no character development, so why why are you even here? Why are you even here? Uh, Martha. Martha, for me, just... Nah. She, her character falls flat pretty much all the time. She's good in-game, mechanically, but... Uh, not... Just not story-wise, and not and not attachment that you'll develop. <sighs> Fucking Mashu, you you are going in the Astolfo because I really don't like you, at all. At all. Matihari, mm, you know she's an interesting character. They did some interesting things with Salem, in the Salem arc with her. So, like, yeah, you can make an argument for her. Yeah, you feel, you feel a lot of sympathy for the character. Um, Mecha Ellie, meh. Mecha Ellie 2, literally was the name. Also, meh. Um, Maeve. Maeve, Maeve, Maeve. Surprisingly, I enjoy this character. I think that's a point that to the writing's credit, though. Uh, so I'm gonna say her base version, we'll put it there. Summer version, uh, we'll put it, yeah, nah, we'll put it down there. It's not much of a difference. It's a bit of an odd design, too. All right. Now we're getting down to some more interesting characters. Medea in her two forms. Base, or her original form. I enjoy uh, when they actually dove deep into her character. They really do make you feel sympathetic for her. And it, it's a good classic design. It's not over-designed. It's not, nothing is too sexualized or too conservative with her. Just a good, solid, just rejoice. Then her Lily version, eh, don't, well, nah, don't care. It, it got some, this version got some screen time, but ultimately it wasn't all that interesting. Writer. Writer OG. Uh, yeah, she's, she's interesting. She's got a lot of work. Anna, uh, which is writer's smaller form. Uh, good character, well designed, has an interesting arc. For Babylonia, you know, good character, good character. Meltris. Uh, okay, I'm gonna break my rule about Sakura faces. I like Meltris. I have one on my account. She is amazing in gameplay, uh, but just the personality is pretty one note. Uh, so this is Mysterious Heroine, Alter, X, meh. If your only gimmick is eating, you're just meh. Which, at the same time, you have Mysterious Heroine, X, uh, first version. Ah, uh, she's... She's alright, she's alright. It's more interesting than her counterpart, her evil, quote-unquote, evil counterpart, but um, yeah. And then Mysterious Heroine XX. Uh, much better character, I think. Ultimately, though, suffers from the fact that they haven't done too much with her universe. 
Which I know will change, but even then, they kind of need some more to really, I like, kind of dig into the story and make you care. Ah, Raikou, regular. Uh, no, no, that's really annoying character. Same thing with her Lancer version or su her uh, summer outfit version. Which brings us to the Musashis. Both Musashis go instantly to the top of the waifu chart. This is probably one of the single greatest uh, character arcs that the game has entirely written, has written, period. Uh, yeah, I have read ahead and I do know what happens and how her next, how the next arc uh, ends for her. And there's her, the OST, I would go find it on YouTube uh, right now and play it for you if I wasn't gonna, wouldn't get a DMCA. I don't want to get. Um, but I would highly suggest going out and looking for that. It's, it's a very good piece of music and it fits even harder if you know what goes on. Musashi both forms, great. Excellent, well-rounded character. One of the few characters who actually gets uh, no shit chastised for her behavior in a video game. Actions have consequences for her. <laughs> and they actually show them. That is... I don't remember who that is. Is that Miu? I don't know. Don't know. Uh, that's, what's her name, uh, in summer, I don't remember, Mordred, Saber of Red, um, the base version, yeah, she's, she's at least somewhat interesting, not by much, the summer version is a little better, and eh, not really. Now that I think about it, she's interesting, but there's just not a lot, uh, a lot going on there. Let's see, uh, Kaj Toro. Let's skip ahead just a little bit here. I really like this character. Well written for the arc they put her in. Uh, very, very interesting direction. I've really enjoyed stuff like um, uh, Seven Samurai, The Secret Fortress, like old samurai movies like that. So she's, this is just a brilliant character and hitting all those same story beats. Instantly you have my attention. Uh, Meltress, Summer, it's the same personality as a previous version. So, but just in a swimsuit and it's just kind of meh, kind of meh. Ah, uh, this is, I really don't like her. I cannot remember her name right now, but she just bores me to death. Nero in all of her forms. Nero is ridiculously entertaining uh, when they actually allow the character room to breathe, which is not often. Uh, so summer version and the base version we're going to put up here. And the bride version, I'm not a fan of. Nothing's really been done with it. So I guess you're going into you're here for Dojin bait. Uh, Neza, Nezha, uh, kind of interesting character, I suppose. Not all that interesting. Not that much as interesting has really been done with it, done with her. Him, it. Uh, same thing with Florence, Nightingale, kind of. Yeah. 
inter Florence is a weird case. There's a lot of room here, but the game kind of teases at the development because they put him put her as a berserker and that's a whole bunch of issues. And I think this is her alternate, her uh, uh, welfare version, the free one. It looks like the same design, like a, oh, did she get a, did she get a winter costume? Maybe, whatever. Uh, is that Nidacris Summer? I don't know. Regular Nidacris. This is going to be heresy, uh, but I don't really care. She's kind of annoying, kind of one note. They need to do something more than compare her to um, uh, Ozymandias. Just do something other than something else with her nursery rhyme boring simple as that oda berserk or is that which version is that this is the first version which is okay i guess it's about the level of mordred uh this is the summer version i think which is a bit better so yeah, you're welcome to you're welcome to join Nero Bride. Okita Summer. Uh, you can jump straight up to here. This is a long endearing character. There's a lot of jokes. Um, whoever writes for Okita very much understands interpersonal relationships and how to build them how to build things like in jokes into two characters interactions however okita alter uh this is the base version so she's going to go up here too basically the same 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 character no changes between these two other than the outfits and jetpacks for this one Okita Alter, though, they dropped the ball. They dropped the ball on the story for this one. She's just not, not interesting. Orion Artemis. Uh, Orion is the bear. Artemis is the uh, goddess carrying the beating around the bear. <sighs> one note. It's, it's one note they haven't really done to terribly much it suffers from being an early release in the game too so like there's a few excuses in my opinion to have not pushed that character in some direction Obasakahime um I don't care for this character at all I get what they're going for it's they wanted a shut-in, neat-type character. Uh, basically, this is basically a female Kazuma from uh, Konosuba. Uh, Parvati. Surprisingly, this character, I did not like her until I played her interlude. And very well written very well written piece of uh, character work so you get to go up pretty high also good design actually i really do like indian this kind of traditional indian costuming it's very elegant um who is that i don't remember Paul Bunyan, you are a joke character. Why are you even in this game? You, you don't even deserve in the May. You just deserve the why, the, the what the fuck. Why are you even here? Um, her one note kind of meh. At least I haven't dug into the character, actually read any up on too much of it, so. Ah, uh, Queen of Sheba, Queen of Sheba. Same issue as Mordred. 
and um, Serenity. One note, one note. Money, 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 this is a fun character. She's just sheer fun to... Anything involving Quetzalcoatl is usually just a good time to read. And it's very endearing. Same thing with her uh, luchador. It's just over the top. Yeah, you know what? This is just a fucking insane story. <laughs> If you watch the Babylonian anime, you probably know exactly what I'm referring to. <laughs> uh, Shiki. Assassin. Uh, she's okay. She's okay. Um, it's more a fan bait for people who are a fan of her franchise than anything else, which I never really got into it. Void Shiki just is meh for me. Just kind of meh. Um, her meh. Saber, or this is Santa. Ulterior's uh, made Santa. It's a boring one. It's just boring. She was a free servant. All right, and then we get to Scarth. The Queen of the Isle, Queen of the Isle of Shadows. Um, base form. Lancer goes straight up to pretty high waifu. Going to the bottom of waifu. Uh, Scoth, very much a well-developed character, has had several arcs devoted to her. Yeah, definitely makes you care. Caster. Or uh, her swimsuit, sorry. <clears throat> Just as good. Scoth Scaldi. <clears throat> Straight to the top, yes. Do not pass go. Uh, yeah, you're going into top four or five. <laughs> Just very good character um, for what she does in her Lost Belt arc. This is. It's a masterclass in how to write a character who has no options, but still has to take an act. Even if that's well, I'm not. I'm not going to spoil how that what ha how, what happens to her. Oh, thousand and one nights. Um, she's math. They they don't do anything with the character. Uh, same semi Ramus. Uh, if they do some more and they break away from the Fate Apocrypha, semi Ramus here would be much better. Kiara, regular. Um, I find Kiara somewhat interesting. There's some interesting potential here, maybe. I don't know if this is exactly the right medium to explore it. I feel like if this is, she's a character who needs novels rather than game text, if that makes sense. You know, it's gonna. She needs the paragraphs, right? Uh, rather than the, here's a couple sentences at a time. Uh, same thing with her summer version. Like, she's hot. She's deadly. Yeah, just, just do some more with her. You know, be better as a developer. Uh, Shujin Dojin... I like her. She's a fun character when she shows up. Uh, she's very trolly. Very much... Very much fits myself in the, the uh, revelry. <laughs> Enjoys the uh, party and the finer things of life. So, yeah. Same thing with her caster version. Good design. Uh, you. I do not know. Uh, yeah, you're going there. I don't even remember who that is. 
And that is Space Space Ishtar, who's uh you know, I haven't played the event, but uh you know she's good. She's good. Probably into Pyre. The Gorgon sisters missing. They're pretty boring. Uh, let's see. Is there anybody else that I don't? Uh, her. I hate this character design so much. I hate it. It's ridiculous. I don't know what the deal is with that one. Uh, you. You is an interesting case where there's definitely potential for some future work, so they haven't done it yet. I'm gonna dock her for points for that. Um, you two, I feel like another character, but I'm just gonna put her into that IDK. That's Ushi. Ushi is, for me, just a meh character. There's nothing to really make endear me to her. Which is kind of important for the whole, you know, waifuism. Okay. The lovely monk. Ah, uh, she's good. She's got a lot of. She's gotten a good amount of content. It's a little one note, but uh, maybe, maybe they're planning something to do something a little interesting with her. Uh, so the Amano no Mei line. The Berserker, it, it's a chef cat. The whole joke is that it's a cat that cooks. That That's it. That's the only joke. Um, caster version. Interesting caster. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting as a caster, she has some character depth, uh, but continuously one of the few characters who will show up for a bit, immediately get ganked in the story, and then disappears entirely for a while, to the point that it's actually become a joke. So, you know... It's harder to care. I'm gonna have to knock her down. And then her summer version. Uh, this one goes straight to... Yeah, it's gonna go pretty high. This is a much more carefree version. Uh, it's a little, it's much more entertaining. Dab this one around and she does play off of Nero very well. And let's see. You can go same. A very interesting relationship here with the protagonist. It's surprisingly not the um, I'm attracted to you entirely. Uh, like approach she is a widow it's almost like a older sister type relationship so very well done for that part and then Suzuku goes in I really enjoy this character I wish they did more with her um, that said she does get very memey um, almost annoyingly so. Which, like, they're playing up that Japanese high schooler, high school girl aesthetic the entire time, which I get it, it it's the character that she's adopted. Uh, but, like, overall, the con in the wider history, she's pretty well developed as a waifu. What a fight! Is your blood up? Does it course with ire or bliss? Do you want to strangle or love me yet? Yes? No? Maybe? And how about you come back next time for another tier list fight night and then decide? 
live on Twitch, so watch my Twitter for announcements about new fight nights. Or just wait for these to be make their way onto YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and have alerts turned on, so you never miss one.